So if you're like me, you like to take your dogs everywhere with you on the weekends, hiking, maybe even going out to eat. So today I'm going to share with you five dog friendly restaurants in Knoxville and we're going to get started right now. What's up everybody, I'm Ben Barreto, real estate pro and relocation expert for East Tennessee. In this channel, we talk about life in Knoxville and East Tennessee. Today, we're going to discuss five dog friendly restaurants in Knoxville. And before I get into it, just there are more than these five dog friendly restaurants in Knoxville or around Knox County and surrounding counties. The reason these five made the list is one, because they're more popular and two, because they actually cater to your pet. So not only can you bring your pet to the patio and eat, but they'll bring them a bowl of water, maybe some snacks and things like that. It's also a places where dog owners tend to occupy. So that's why they made it to the list, but just be rest assured there's more than these five. Also, just so you know, dog friendly does not mean dogs can be inside the restaurant. Due to current health codes and in the restaurant industry and in food service, you can't have animals inside restaurants indoors because of, well, because of the hair, dandruff, uh, the licking, the heavy breathing, and all that stuff. So if you have a dog, don't expect to bring it inside the restaurant. And that even goes for you small dog owners that like to put your dogs in purses or backpacks and carry them everywhere with you. I don't like that because I have big dogs and I don't think it's fair. But that's a whole nother subject. So we'll move on from that before I offend too many people. So the first place on the list is a Double Dogs, which is located in, on Kingston Pike in West Knoxville. This is a newer restaurant. I think it's only been open for about a year, maybe, maybe a little bit more than that. It is a American style restaurant with nine locations in Tennessee and I think one in South Carolina, one in Georgia, but mostly in Tennessee. As the name probably hints at, it's burgers and hot dogs french fries onion rings and things like that lots of lots of micro brew beers as well as more popular beers that people like to drink some of the things on the menu are classic american hamburgers jalapeno cheese sticks homemade onion rings and more double dogs is located at 8910 kingston pike and it is open every day starting at 11 a.m Next on the list is Balter Beer Works. Now this is mostly an outdoor establishment, so lots of seating for dogs and dog owners. It's located on the corner of South Broadway and Jackson, close to downtown. It was opened in 2016, locally owned, and the site used to be an old service station that was obviously out of service for quite some time. So the building sat there empty, and now it's a very hip and modern microbrew that serves some appetizers and bar style food. The menu offers things like made to order guacamole, chicken lettuce wraps, homemade potato chip nachos, fish tacos, and fried green tomatoes. Basically Southern American style food, but they put a nice modern twist to it and adding a little bit of zest to making it look good. As I said, Balter Beer Works is located on the corner of South Broadway and Jackson which is close to downtown on the north side of the downtown area and it's open Monday through Friday starting at 11 a.m. Third on the list is Central Flat and Taps. Now this one is located in the neighborhood of Happy Holler which I actually did a video on that neighborhood before and you can check that out by clicking right here or following the link in the description. Now Central Flat and Taps again is located on Central Avenue in the Happy Holler neighborhood it is a popular destination for its baked pizzas and baked pastas. It also serves things like roasted wings and has a lot of micro brews that are from breweries that are locally owned. The staff is known for being super friendly and especially super dog friendly. They have a great patio area in the back that's almost like a, a garden area with picnic tables and things for you to sit at. Central Flat and Taps is open daily from 10 a.m. to 3 a.m. except for Friday and Saturday where it closes at 1 a.m. I think that's Sunday too. I think Sundays they close at 1 a.m. as well. Fourth on the list is Lakeside Tavern. Now this one's a little bit more upscale than the other restaurants we've talked about so far. Lakeside Tavern again is in West Knoxville in the Concord Marina area and it's surrounded by the lakes, boat docks, golf course, 
and the greenways. It's a beautiful restaurant that sits up on a hill with gorgeous views of the foothills and the lakes all around. Now this specific restaurant is connected to a boat dock where you can pull up in your boat, get your order, and have the servers go up in their golf cart, grab your order, and bring it back to you. And you can just eat right there on your boat with your dog or and with your friends. Now, it also has an outdoor space for you to eat with your dogs and with your friends as well. And the menu for this restaurant, again, it's a little bit more upscale, but you're still going to see a lot of American-style food from various steaks to sautéed hot dishes, gourmet desserts, and seafood on the menu as well. Lakeside Tavern is open every day at 11 a.m. and closes about 9 to 10 p.m. depending on the day of the week. 10 p.m. being Friday and Saturday night. Fifth on the list is the French Market Creperie in the downtown area. Now this location is more a cafe than a restaurant, but they do have an extensive menu of crepe filled dishes from savory to sweet. And there are two locations, one downtown and there's another one in West Knoxville. The French Market Crepery has been around for some time and its popularity has not dwindled in that time. Again, both restaurants have outdoor spaces where you can bring your dogs, you can sit down, you can have a cup of coffee and a nice sweet crepe to end your day or to start your day depending on when you want your coffee and crepe. Now the French Market is open daily at 9 a.m. While I got you here, definitely make sure to check out last week's video where I talked about the seven most dangerous animals in Tennessee and you can watch that video by clicking right here or following the link in the description. Other than that, I appreciate you stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you know a little bit more about Knoxville than you did beforehand and I hope I see you soon. And until next Monday, have a good one. Bye-bye.